Welcome, YouTubers. Fans of tabletop gaming, those especially interested in Dreamforge games. This is the Hell Cannon. I think it stands for High Energy Laser. Not sure. But it is sweet looking. And it's pretty good size from what I can see from the box. So let's let's open this bad boy up and uh, do a review. All right. This is for the 15 millimeter Leviathan. Um, and that part is an arm. Uh, every weapon that the uh, system is designed for or comes with gives you the arm. And the arms are swivel. They have a swivel capability where they can twist. And then they interlock so you don't have to magnetize everything. So you could just swivel the arm and make this the left side arm or the right side arm. Whichever, whatever your fancy is. But uh, let me open this up, and let's get to the, to the, uh, yeah, let's get to the, uh, the good stuff. Okay, so here's the directions. So there's, uh, number one, uh, building the actual bicep for the weapon system, for the arm to mount into. Then you're putting the main weapon together, adding the little tidbits. There's the arm piece there. There's the main weapon armor. And see how it swivels? So you could either side, left or right, which is awesome. Um, does this have a screw in it? I don't see the little screw icon. Oh, yeah, right there. So this comes with a screw. There's the screw, which is kind of neat. Um, so let's look at the good stuff. Here we go. This comes uh, with a half and quarter uh, sprue. Let's open. Oh, this is ripped a little bit, so let's take advantage of that. Keep the weapon at bay. I gotta watch for that little sprue. Oh no, the screw is gone. Is it still in the box? Oh, it's still in the box. Very cool. Well, that's awesome. Ta-da! There it is. Super little black screw. Yay. All right, so let's set that over there. Get that on. Let's just throw it on the floor. <laughs> well, let's look. Let's look at the arm first, because this comes with every weapon. Oh, like I was saying, so you have uh, left armor pieces or right armor pieces. That's the biceps or where the actuators would be. That's, I believe, where the screw goes in to keep those two together. This is the locking mechanism that he's designed for all of his uh, arm pieces. So they go up and they twist and they lock into place. Um, but there's the armor. And here we go to the gun. Awesome. This is 15 millile millimeter size. So let me see how long is this in length here. Let's get out my trusty dusty. I can't find my silver one. Still have to undo my stuff. So roughly, let's get it on. Get it on. I don't know if that piece is part of it. Well, anyways, this part of the model piece is uh, about 68 millimeters long. So it's about 68 millimeters long, which is a good size. And then uh, for all of us um, USA guys and uh, gals in Canada. It's about uh, two and three quarters, roughly two and three quarter inches in length. And there it is. The barrel is in the middle of the casing. Uh, looks like you've got some kind of, uh, I don't know what those are. This looks like the heat sink valves or something here. The back end, I'm sure, of this piece here. There's that part. Here's the other mirrored side. This goes on the, I think that mounts like right in here from what the picture looks like. <clears throat> yeah, it mounts in there. So this piece would be glued into that square. And here's the other part. So um, this piece goes onto the back of that. So let's check it again, shall we? So this is roughly uh, 
Well, it's 30 millimeters. So 30 plus what I originally said, which was, uh, so it's about 90, 98 millimeters long, which that would be inch and a quarter, and that was two and three quarters. So it's almost, uh, wait. Um, yeah. It's about three and three quarter inches long. Which isn't too bad for a 15 millimeter weapon system, which means that the 28 millimeter scale, this thing is huge. We're talking like, um, man, it'd probably be about the size of, uh, well, I play Tau for Warhammer 40K, so it'd probably be about the size of the rail gun on the hammerhead uh, hanging off his arm. And you can't really see the barrel diameter. You know, the inner barrel piece here. You really can't see that on the kit. And I don't see any kind of a... Yeah, I didn't think so. That's that's the unimportant part. <laughs> but there it is, folks. The Hell Cannon. With an additional arm bracket. That's what it looks like. Dreamforge Games. Hell Cannon. Hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll talk to you in the next one. Thanks a lot. Bye.